Linda's Pantry. Today I am doing a little bit of a grocery haul and I've got some sticker shock for you. And this isn't very much stuff and um, it equates to over $200. <laughs> Between Costco and Fred Meyer, yeah. Um, I did, I'm trying to think what cost the most at Costco. Um, I guess it would have been the steaks. I bought some New York strip steaks. They were $9.99 a pound and you know, so $40 here, but um, we're having company from out of town tonight for dinner. So we're gonna have grilled steaks and a Caesar salad kit. These aren't cheap anymore either. They're like $6 for a salad kit. Um, but it's gonna make my life easier tonight when it comes time for dinner. So I also, I bought some more of this organic, um, Riced cauliflower, stir fry, riced cauliflower. Whitney takes that in her lunches, so. Um, and then the Kodiak protein balls. These are delicious. I made them with my grandsons when they were here and they just, they're so yummy. And you know, they're honey and um, peanut butter. And I needed more peanut butter. They didn't have the twin packs of the chunky Jif. Um, but they had Adam's 100% natural peanut butter. So I got that and it's chunky. I like chunky peanut butter. If I'm gonna eat peanut butter, go big or go home. And I did, I bought stuff that I, a couple of things that I really didn't need, but I wanted. So they had these cute little flip flops um, at Costco and they fit perfect. And then a nice uh, Memorial weekend um, made in the USA shirt for kicking around the house, right? Um, or down at the beach. Uh, so those were 10 bucks um, a piece. Uh, so I, I guess I'm okay. I did um, purchase the Bavarian meat sticks. These are wonderful, wonderful, no sugar. So they're keto friendly. Um, and I needed some more avocado oil spray. So I bought some of that. They also had this um, wood fire garlic hardwood smoked flavored seasoning blend. It's like a garlic salt from Kinder's. And I've had this before, it's delicious. So I grabbed it because it was only $4.99. So they had that on sale. I bought some more pomegranate juice because it's good for you. Um, and I dilute it down, but it's still, you're still getting the benefits. So uh, pomegranate juice, $6.99. I think the peanut butter was $9.99. Uh, but that's a huge thing of peanut butter. How big is this? Uh, 80 ounces. That's a lot of peanut butter. So lots of peanut butter balls. <laughs> um, I bought a couple bottles of Kirkland's uh, Marlboro Sauvignon Blanc. This is a really inexpensive but delicious table wine and or to, um, to cook with. So I cook with it quite often and I'm super excited for that. So I also, when I was at Freddy's, I bought my sweet tea, blackberry sweet tea, some half and half, a head of um, lettuce because, well, the lettuces that are out there, there's not quite enough. So I also bought some soup, um, chicken noodle soup. I take those to work. And then the find of the day, um, some tomatoes, some mozzarella cheese, and onions. These are the first onions I have bought since last fall. So um, it's kind of sad, but my onions lasted me almost a year and I, I didn't waste, but maybe two or three that got wasted because they were not, they were not, um, uh, they didn't, I didn't let them dry out properly. So that was my bad on those few that got wasted. So little tomatoes, those are $2.99 for a few cherry tomatoes. Uh, this is my find of the day, Carb Master. You guys know I eat the Carb Master bread. This is Carb Master yogurt and Kroger puts this out. It's a keto approved. Um, it's got one, it's hard to read on that color, 60 calories. Okay, so buddy, quit it. So four, this has got three carbs, one protein. Is that right? Is that protein I'm talking about? Yeah, it's really hard to read. 60 calories and nine grams, no, nine grams of protein. 
Those gotta be sugar. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. Five, okay. One fat, three carbs, one gram of sugar, and eight gram, nine grams of protein. So this I'm excited for, and they were reasonable. They were 50 cents. And I, I got the, this one is orange vanilla. Um, and I've got some keto granola I can put on there. Uh, I've got raspberry, a blackberry, and strawberry banana. So I'm going to try all those and see how I like them. I'm, I generally don't eat a lot of yogurt because it's so high in fat and calories. Um, so I skip that little treat and trade it out for something else. But um, then uh, Freddy's also had pork ribs, spare ribs on sale for $1.49 a pound. So I bought a big rack of those and that, that was, um, how many pounds is this? Almost, well, it's five and a half pounds. So this will be uh, quite a few meals for us um, because I will only eat one and you know my grandson, this is his favorite. So I'll save these for when he comes back home. All right, guys. Oh, and I bought some sliced deli turkey, that, which is not cheap. That's $11.99 a pound. Gosh, it just it just makes me crazy how much stuff has gone up. Some mozzarella cheese, and literally this is over two hundred dollars worth of stuff. So, guys, I hope it inspires you. I hope that if you oh and gas, I bought gas. Gas went up from last week, four eighty nine a gallon at Costco. It's well over five dollars a gallon here. And um, everywhere else that I drove past, um, you're looking at five fifty a gallon. So, yeah, we're in the throes of the high gas prices. All right, guys, I can't wait to see you next time. Let me know what gas prices are in your area and if you experienced a little bit of sticker shock. Because I'm uh, turkey breast, eleven ninety nine a pound. Good grief! I mean, everything has gone up. So. Gonna have to start filling in, and um, thankfully, I'm well stocked with yesterday's prices. All right, bye. bye.